Welcome to Atma the Infinite Art and today we are learning about the selection tools in Photoshop. This is the first part of the video series. The links of the other parts are in the description and in the info above. Of the tons of selection tools available in Photoshop, we are studying the group of this four. The shortcut is M. With the rectangular marquee tool, you can make rectangular selections everywhere just by dragging. To deselect the selection, go up to select, then deselect, shortcut is Ctrl plus D. However, the easier way will be to make the selection and then click anywhere on the canvas to deselect the selection. To constrain the selection into a perfect square, press Shift to create the selection from the point where you click the cursor as the center, press Alt. When you take your cursor inside the selection, the cursor will change. Now you can drag it to move the selection. Or you can press your up, down, left, right arrow keys to move the selection. Another way is while you are drawing the selection, hold space and move the position of the selection and keep drawing the selection. Again, hold space, move the position, space and you can move the position. You can cut the selection with the move tool but when you try to drag it, you are not allowed to. That's because you'll have to tell Photoshop which layer you want the selection to cut from. So when I select the fruits layer, I can cut from the selection. But as soon as you commit to this change, the cut portion sticks to the main image and makes a single image. We do not want this. Instead, we make the selection, select the layer from which we want the selection to cut from, then go to edit, cut. Ctrl plus X. This will cut the image within the selection. And then to paste the selection, go to Edit, Paste, shortcut is Ctrl plus V. This has essentially pasted the cut region in a different layer. As you can see that this object is now completely independent and free from the main image. To add to an existing selection, make sure that the selection tool is selected and then go to add to selection icon and then just keep adding. And to take away from an existing selection, go to subtract from selection and keep subtracting. This icon will make a selection at the intersection of two selections. If you set the feather to zero before making the selection, the cut will give a hard edge. But if you set the feather to some positive value before making the selection, the cut will give smooth edges. This normal style lets you make freeform natural selections. And fixed ratio uses the values in these input boxes to make a selection in that ratio. And fixed size will get the size from the values of these input boxes and then make the selection.
The options for elliptical marquee tool are more or less similar to rectangular marquee tool. Shift for a perfect circle and all to create the selection from the center. Since most of the options are similar to the options of the rectangular marquee tool, I just need to talk about this anti-alias option. With the anti-alias unchecked, if we cut out a selection, the edges of the oval will be rough and jagged. And with the anti-alias checked, the edges of the cutout selection will be smooth. The single row marquee tool just gives a thin strip of horizontal selection. And the single column marquee tool just makes a thin strip of vertical selection. The first use is you can cut the selected portion and move or paste them anywhere you like. Or you can apply any effect or filter to a selected portion. This ends the first part of the selection tools in Photoshop series. Make sure to check the other parts. Bye!